One of the things we haven't talked about yet is removing software. Now, I just recently installed Apache on this system, and in a few minutes, I want to install Nginx on the system, but I can really only have one web server at a time on the system. There is some workarounds, but in general, you know, we will run with one web server at a time. Otherwise, it can create problems, especially if they're both trying to listen on the same port. That really creates issues. So I want to remove the Apache uh, Apache 2 web server. So I've got a couple of commands here. So let me walk you through them here real quick. So the first is sudo apt remove Apache 2. And that will remove the Apache 2 application. Now, the remove gets rid of binaries, but it doesn't get rid of configuration files. So it'll leave some residual configuration files. Now, I also want you to see up here, it says the following packages were automatically installed and are no longer required. And you'll see all of these other packages that are just not removed yet. Don't worry about it. We're going to get to that in a minute. In fact, it tells you right here how to get rid of them. But let's let me show you the other command here first, and that is sudo apt purge. And what purge does is it gets rid of the binaries, which I've kind of already done, and it gets rid of all of the uh, residual configuration files as well. Or at least that's what it's supposed to do. Now, we also can get rid of all of these dependencies. So that got rid of the package but it leaves behind some of those additional dependencies that got installed when we installed the original package. And so for that, our command is sudo apt auto remove. Now, before I do that, I'm going to do an apt update here real quick. And I did this just recently, so I don't really need to do that. This, however, will show me how many packages can be upgraded when I do this. But for that auto remove thing, it doesn't always tell you here. Um, in fact, you'll see it doesn't tell you here. So I want to do an auto remove, and that's just going to remove anything that is no longer needed. So it's any dependency packages that we used to have, but now we don't need them anymore. So when I run this through, it says the following packages will be removed, and it lists them right here. And it tells me what it does. Zero upgraded, zero newly installed, eight to remove, 81 not upgraded. After this operation, we'll free up 23 megabytes of space. Are we sure we want to do this? Yes. And so now we've removed the application and we've removed its um, configuration files using the purge. By the way, you can just do apt purge. You don't have to do the remove. I just wanted to show you both commands. If you want to keep the configuration files around just in case you, you want to use it later on, then you would definitely want to do the remove. But if you're really, really done and you never want to use this again, or if you do use it, you want to recreate all your configuration from scratch, then you do the perch. And then the auto remove just gets rid of little pieces that are hanging around those dependencies packages so that they're not just sitting there taking up space uh, on your system. Okay, that's it. That's how we remove software out of an Ubuntu server.